Hello again guys and we're back again to create this simple login screen and sign up screen using Figma and just apply a simple animation like this one. So let's start. So what we have now are the screen requirements. We have here the login screen requirement and the sign up screen requirements. Below it are the icons that we will use for this design. So firstly we're going to create a new frame like this one. And this is just a standard preset frame of 1440 and 1024. We'll apply a dark background on it, on it. And then we'll just add a grid column with the 12 columns. And then we're gonna center it and adjust it a bit. And then we're gonna put it into center instead of stretch and apply an 85 width to the columns. Now we're going to create the fields, so the field's height would be about 60. We're going to remove the fill on it and we're going to apply a white and opacity of layer opacity of 10%. And then we're going to duplicate it for the password. So first we'll have the username and then the password. So the password will be just circles. Now I'm just distributing the spaces so it will look a little bit decent. And then we're going to put the heading of it. And now this is the login page. So we're going to put the login page. Then underneath that, we're going to have something like, if you don't have an account, so let's go to the sign up page. So we're going to just get the icons here and then add them to the side of the text inside the field. And then here I'm going to icon monster and just uh, downloading an SVG file of the eyes, drag and dropping them in Figma and then changing the color of it and put it on the password side. So this is like a function that if you click it, it will change the fast password into visible. So now we're creating a checkbox for keep me signed in. It is the same color as the text fields. So the checkbox is just a square and then a white color with a 10 op layer opacity. And then we'll have here the login button. Let's just make it a little bit smaller, remove the boldness of it. And then let's remove the stroke and then apply a color. And let's just make it a solid color. And then I'm aligning this a bit and I'm gonna put some emphasis on this button. I'm just gonna have a ellipse there underneath it and we're gonna put a blur and make it more darker. 
so that it will be emphasized and just adjust it so it will look good. And then now I'm gonna put the login with social media account, a text, and then the social media accounts there, some circles for the social media, Twitter, Google, and Facebook. All the icons also are on the top. We'll just copy and paste it. And then I'm just gonna adjust this, adjust the circle, make it a little bigger. So that it won't be like a little bit crammed. And I'm gonna group this one and distribute them a bit. After distributing it, I'm gonna group them again and align it to the button. There we go. And then I'm gonna create the left hand side where the text would be explaining what this screen is for. It's a little bit redundant, but you get the idea. We're just gonna create it in a different color, a different shade of blue so that it, will, it won't contrast with the button color, the lighter button color. So we'll have here a welcome back and then some text there. Here now I'm seeing some issue with the spacing or the distribution of this element. So I've just centered it across the left hand side, the right hand side, and then I'm just gonna adjust, adjust this one. So it will follow along the grid as much as possible when you create a grid you should follow it along so that it will it won't be a hassle when transitioning to coding So here we're gonna put some text on it because it looks a little bit spacey. I'm just gonna put some lorem ipsum text on it. So now we're renaming all the layers, grouping the same elements so that it will animate correctly. So like in the blue background, the blue background should be the, the same layer name like BG or something. And then the header of the background, like the welcome back should be the same, the same layer name. And then the fields would be the field one, field two should be the same layer and the layer name and the button should be also the same group name, group name or layer name like that. Because on Figma, if it, it, it isn't the same, the transition of the smart animation would be a little bit wonky. So we just, just duplicate this one and we're gonna put the blue side on the right now and the black side on the left now. So when layers are grouped, you have to double click it until you go to the layer itself. So here I'm just double clicking the group so that I will go get into the text layer of it. And then we will add a new layer that is the email layer. Keep in mind that always check the requirements in the screen. What are the given elements that are required to be shown in the screen?
We'll have here the checkbox now with agree with our terms and agreement and we'll just set the text box to active. We're going to put a fill on it and then a check so the fill would be a bit blue and the check would be white. So let's just change the text into a sign up text. And I'm just going to put here some check marks if the email is already taken or not. So the check mark would indicate that the email and the username is available. So now. Now we're going to animate this thing. We're going to animate it with on click and then a smart animate of ease in with 300 millisecond and just we're going to loop it around. So this is the first test of the animation. As you can see here, there's something wrong with this one. The check mark is not moving along and some of the field layers are not moving at all. So I'm just going to diagnose this problem. I think this thing is needs to be ungrouped and then this thing should be also duplicated. The check mark there should be duplicated on this side and uh, we're going to put it with uh, zero opacity. And lastly, the field layer of this one. We're going to duplicate this one on that side and then we're just going to have it with a zero opacity again. We'll just have to ensure that the blue background thingy, the left hand side and the right hand side with the blue background is on the top of the layer. So that's it guys. I hope you find this video helpful. And lastly, always remember to name the layers properly when you're smart animating. And if you introduce a new field layer, be sure that on the previous screen, it is invisible and then on the next screen, make it visible so it will have a smooth transition. Consider giving this video a like and uh, sharing it to your friends and uh, also thank you for watching this one. Stay tuned for other Figma videos. I hope you have a great day and have a good one.